Hi, my name is Jeff Richter with St. Vincent Sports Performance. For this month, we're going to talk about cool down strategies. An ice bath is one way to cool down, but I'm actually going to show you another way to cool down out on the field, combining a foam roll and a static stretching protocol. Let's take it out to the field. For our first foam roll and static stretch combination, we're going to look at the posterior hip and we're going to attack the glute and piriformis complex. When we're starting our foam roll exercise, we want to make sure that we start in position either on the left or right side. So for this particular example, I'm going to start on the right hip. And then I'm going to take my right leg and I'm going to put it in an exterior, external rotated position. Once my hip is externally rotated, I'm right along that right hip and I'm going to begin foam rolling the full length of that muscle. Glute, piriformis, all the way across. And if I find a trigger point or a knot, I kind of want to hang out in that spot for a second. Give it just some uh, 10 or 11K rates there and continue working out the full range of motion. Once I roll out the right side, I'm then going to transition to the left side. We want to roll for about 30 seconds per side for our cool down. Right after the foam roll cool down, we're going to progress to our static stretch up on a box. Now as we transition up to the static stretch, what we want to do is we want to position ourselves so that our knee is at a 90 degree angle and our hips are completely centered and squared towards the box. Once we get in this position, I'm going to go ahead and put my hands on the box and I'm going to keep good posture with my chest up tall, okay, core brace. Once I'm in this position, I'm going to begin to lower myself so that my entire lower leg goes and touches the box. Now once I get down in this position, we're really going to feel that stretch on this right hip. I'm going to release that stretch after two seconds and go back up and then repeat and release. Once you do 10 reps per leg, you'll switch over to the opposite side and now complete your posterior hip stack stretch. All right, now we're moving on to the hamstrings. For the hamstring foam roll, what we want to do is we actually want to start underneath the point where we're rolling out the glute piriformis complex. So we're going to take that foam roll right underneath the glutes and then we're going to foam roll all the way to behind the knee. So I'm taking my leg back and forth. And also, as well, during the hamstring rollout, if you find a trigger point or a knot, spend a little time on it, and then just keep rolling. Ideally, we spend 30 seconds per leg on the hamstring foam roll, and then we can transition to our band stretch. For our band stretch, in our case, we're gonna use this loop band. You can also, at home, maybe use a t-shirt or a towel, whatever will allow you to put this around the arch of the foot. So we're gonna take the band, we're right around the arch of this foot, and then we're gonna lean slightly back. Now, in this particular case, I'm going to start with my left knee up. So you can also start with your left knee down, but what I tend to find is, is that if somebody has tight hip flexors, this might actually um, cause the hamstring stretch to be a little bit less effective. So we want to just slightly put this up so we can get a little bit more target here in the hamstring. Once I'm in this position, I'm going to make sure that my lower back is not arched. My lower back is in neutral. And then I want to make sure I accomplish two things when I pull this hamstring stretch. I want to make sure that my knee is completely extended so that I'm not in a flexed position. And then once I'm extended, I want to make sure that my toe is not pointed up, but rather my toe is pointed down towards the knee. You want to hold this hamstring stretch for 30 seconds. After you hold for 30, you want to go ahead and switch legs, and then I'll finish up our hamstring foam roll and our hamstring stretch static stretch combo. All right, for our next and final installment, we're going to talk about rolling and static stretch in the quad hip flexor complex. What we want to do with our foam roll is actually start with the foam roll at the top of the hip on the hip flexors. Now once we're in this position, we're going to take that foam roller all the way across to the top of the knee and foam roll back. During the course of rolling out your quads, you might want to get a little bit more of the inner thigh and adductors, in which case you'll turn your hip, exteriorly rotate it out, and then you can target more of the inner thigh. Also, we can move a little bit more lateral and target a little bit more of the IT band. Right after we complete 30 seconds for the foam roll per leg, we're going to transition into our static stretch. For the static stretch, we want to start with our knee right on the mat and place your foot up against the wall. Now, depending on your hip flexor flexibility and your quad flexibility, the distance that our knee is from the wall is actually going to vary. So if you're less flexible, you actually need to scoot your knee a little bit further up. So for this particular case, we want to make sure that we're braced core and that we're not arching our back. So we're locked in here. And instead of just leaning forward like this with my arms on my knees, for the most optimum stretch, we want to take our hips 
as far forward and through as we can, and then back. So again, I want to hold this stretch for two to three seconds. And then at the very end of doing four to five reps for two to three seconds, creating a little bit more range of motion, I want to hold the last one for 30 seconds. Hey, thanks for watching this month. Hopefully you can implement some of these cool down strategies immediately after your next practice or competition.